All right, we've got this nice sounding lead vocal, but I want to create a doubled effect. Well, we can use Melodyne for that. And I'm using Melodyne because I know it ships with most versions of Studio One, at least in its barest version, which is enough for what we need. So here's where we're at with the lead vocal. I'm not ready to go home. Unaffected. And what I'm going to do is right click here. I'm going to go duplicate track complete. That means it's going to duplicate the events as well. And I'm going to leave them both soloed. Right now, it's just going to be louder. I'm which is not doing us any good. I'm going to just select all of these regions. And with that done, under audio, I'm going to go edit with Melodyne. So it's going to open up Melodyne. And it's going to automatically calculate the blobs. And that's because, and I say blobs because that's Melodyne language, because it's the ARA version. So it's already all automatically transferred. So right now, it's still going to sound the same. I'm not ready to go home. Well, what I can do is just select all. Oops, meant to select all in here. There we go. And I can just, using this macro, tune the pitch of all these in this duplicated track. And by doing that, it's going to offset the tuning from the main lead vocal. And we'll hear some pitch discrepancies that'll probably be nice for a thickened, doubled, natural kind of doubling effect. I'm not ready to go home, so I'll stay right on the thing. All right, so that's good. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, and I'm not sure if this is available in all versions of Melodyne, under the Edit menu, we can add random deviations. So make sure everything is selected. I'm going to go Pitch Drastic, and it's just added some random pitch optimization. And I'm going to do the same thing here for timing. So some subtle timing differences, and that'll make it a bit more random and different. I'm not ready to go home, so I'll stay right on the day. All right, that's sounding good. I got to blend it into taste and work with it a bit more, but that's what I'm looking for for the moment. Now I'll just deselect everything. I could hit F4 and select these and render if I want, but I'm going to leave them as is just in case I want to do any tweaks. And now let's go to the mixer and let's see what we can do with this. So here's our lead vocal and here's our lead vocal double. And I can start by just bringing it up. Now, what I'm going to do is solo the return as well. And when I doubled the track, it doubled everything, as you can see here. And I'm just going to mute these two. So we're sending only this into the effects, the double tracks. There's going to be that subtle detuning effect in the reverb and delays, which could be interesting. And I'm going to switch these probably to pre-fader. So I can click there. And that means the amount being sent is independent of this, because I just want a little bit of the dry signal in the mix. So let's blend this in and see what we can get. I'm not ready to go home, so I'll stay right on the dance floor. Just a little bit of it thickens it nicely. However you like to have now I'm going to have to change the sidechain compression source here. It's got both, but I just need it to be the lead vocal double. So that's interesting. However Even with that all the way off, fun, yeah. we're getting the Melodyne signal sent into the delay and the compression. So there's that subtle timing and tuning difference. I'm not ready to go home, so there we hear I'll the doubling very pronounced. But a little bit can thicken it up. So it's just adding a subtle thickening, extra interesting kind of quality and dimension to the thickness of those delays and reverb. We'll continue with more in the next video.